In today's video, we are going to be doing a 2023 reset. It's so crazy to say that it is 2023, but I'm so ready just to reset for this new year, get ready for new opportunities and new habits that I want to form. So that is exactly what we are going to be doing in today's video. I don't think people realize how much your life can change within a year. So this year I've made it a priority just to stay disciplined and perform better habits. So that is exactly what we are going to be doing and getting ready for and I just need to get organized and comment down below all of the goals that you guys have for this year. Okay, so now I'm on Canva and I am going to make a vision board wallpaper for my MacBook and I'm going to get all of my photos from Pinterest. Okay, so I'm all done with my vision board. I am obsessed with the way it came out. I added a lot of like motivational Bible quotes and just like little stuff like Jesus loves you, pray as much as you think about it, just because I want to grow my relationship more with God this year and just grow more spiritually. Then I added some self-care like the girl with the face mask and then there's like skincare products and hair care products right there just because this year I want to just prioritize my self-care time and really make that something that I do a lot. And then I added like fitness in here and just eating better. Um, I'm trying to go full plant-based this year. I am in the transition of doing that. So that is a journey that we will go on and I will just add more content with that. And my fitness, I don't have any like body plans. Like I don't have any goals that I want my body to be. I just want to be more healthy and treat my body better. And then of course I added YouTube. Um, you can see like the little editing right there. And to show myself whenever I get on my MacBook, like, hey, I could be editing a video right now. And then I added my Bible right here. And just like, I don't know, finding my quiet time being outside in nature once it warms up and reading my Bible. That is something I want to do a lot um, this summer and this spring as the weather warms up. And I added travel. It does not matter the place big or small, just going somewhere new and being in a new environment. I feel like that is such a great experience to have. So I definitely want to add that more into my new year. I'm back from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to show you guys everything I got just to organize my room. I got this super cute little like tray to put papers in and mail. So this will be really cute just to help me stay organized. Then I got some white extra markers for my checklist that I'm going to make on my whiteboard. Just daily tasks that I need to do. So this is really cute. Plus um, it has an eraser on it. And then I got some highlighters for journaling and my Bible study. Okay, so we have my little whiteboard and the markers that I got from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to make my weekly goals and I'm just going to be changing this every week of stuff that I need to get done. So whenever I go in my room, it will be like right in front of my face. And I'm just a visual person, so this will help me a lot. So I'm just going to write down all of my goals that I have for the week and all the stuff I need to get done. And I will come back and show you guys. Hey 
Okay, so these are all my goals for the week. The first one is to read a cooking book. I just bought some new plant-based recipe books, so I need to read those to find some new recipes. Then I always have my Bible study at night, so this is just here to remind me. And then I put cook a healthy meal with one of my cookbooks, and then I need to edit for YouTube and get all of that done so this video comes out. And then the last one is just to do my daily journaling. Okay, I'm sorry you guys. I'm holding this by the tripod, but I don't feel like taking this off my phone. But another one of my goals this year is to just have better skincare. I suffer with hormonal acne and I really just need to like dedicate more self-care time. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to wash my face and show you guys all of the products that I use. And then I'm going to give myself a pedicure with one of those like at-home pedicure bowls. And we're just going to chill. Like that's what I want to do right now. And I'm really making that a goal is just to prioritize me time and self-care time and treat myself better. So that's what we're going to do. So to wash my face, I'm using the Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Wash, and this works really, really good if you have acne-prone skin. And then for exfoliating, I'm using the First Aid Beauty Exfoliator. Okay, and these are all of my aftercare products. This is my retinol serum, my moisturizer, my eye cream, my um, tea tree serum, and these are my little toning pads. And I will link all of these products below if you guys are interested in them. And I use this product literally once a week. It is my Mario Bredeschio, like drying lotion. I put this on my pimples and it dries them up overnight. Okay, so I got this little tool and I use it to shape like my jawline, my cheekbones, and the bridge of my nose. And I got this from the Dollar Tree. It's just used to like shape your face and it's super inexpensive. It was just a dollar. I don't know if it's working yet, but I have been taking some progress pictures, so I will let you guys know. So we are going to be making a acai bowl. Like I said in my vision board, I am trying to eat plant-based and I am someone who loves sweets. Like I love gummies, all of that. Like I love candy. So I'm trying to get in the habit of just eating more fruits and having that be sweet to me instead of eating all this sugar. And I added some frozen peaches and raspberries with some almond milk just to get that smoothie consistency. And then for my toppings, I added some chia seeds, bananas, and some nuts on the side. Okay, I am so real with you guys. Like, I am about to go to bed. I'm in my comfy. I can't believe I'm on camera like this, but I love you guys and 
this is as real as it gets but um every night before i go to sleep i do my bible study and i told myself this year i am doing this every night before bed like it just calms me down i'm growing so much more spiritually and um it just helps me recognize his voice like whenever he's talking to me throughout the day I really think about the verses that I read to grow your relationship with God. I highly suggest that you just stay in your Bible and you stay consistent doing that and he will speak to you like it's it's insane. But um I'm going to just do my Bible study and then that's how I'm ending my reset for 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for staying this long. If you stayed this long, thank you. Make sure to subscribe and I cannot wait for all of the videos that I will be posting this year and we are just going to be growing together. I'm so excited for everything that is going to happen to me this year. Um, I didn't make like what I want to achieve like realistically goals like that. I just put a vision board of what I want but I just want God to lead me through everything like i don't want to be like i want this many subscribers or i want to travel here like i just want god to lead me through and i trust him over whatever i want so that's why i didn't do that i just put a vision board of things that i'm into and i will let god lead my goals as the year goes on